prospects in this are so close to presumably what's going to be in the World Cup that it only makes sense to be starting to play duels again here. Now, I've decided to play only no move. This is really the way I prefer to play it. If we get some crazy tracker, I may break the rules and walk a little bit, but yeah, I really pl prefer playing no move in general. Check it out guys, I also hit 15,000 games. I have been grinding. I really plan to be at about 17K before the World Cup rolls around, but we'll see how that goes. And yeah guys, uh, I have not played a single duel. We can see we can see that we're still at 1380 um, since um, everything happens. It's since two months ago I stopped the series, so let's just get straight back into things here. Probably not gonna be the longest episode today, but yeah, let's check it out where we are on the leaderboard quickly. Um, in the world, we are currently 200 and 37th. Look at all those flags, very beautiful. Just behind Sfera, shout out to Sfera. So um, yeah, let's get into duels here and see if we can win some. Let's not forget that these days we always face up against opponents who are inside our division. Let's give them a wave back here and see the first one here, which is looking like Colombia or Mexico, actually. A bit of dry coverage here. Would expect that this is not too far from the capital, um, just because it's quite agricultural, but also, yeah, as we said, quite dry here. So Puebla, Guanajuato, I might go Guanajuato here, but it's something around there, I would say. Um, can we get a better view here if we move up? Mm, yeah, it's fairly hilly, so probably not exactly where I clicked. And it was actually in Veracruz there. Good guess from our opponent. So clearly with this, uh, they've actually played more GeoGuess than I have in the last few years because this is a fancier background. So expecting quite a good level of play here. Next one here gonna be somewhere in Denmark. Obviously guessing quickly here is gonna be pretty necessary. Feels kind of national park-ish in a way, so I'm not really sure what I make of that. But it's very flat, so I think Odenza Hedge is actually just fine here. Um, I wonder, like it, it seems like the type of red weather is probably gonna be info nearby, so yeah, guessing quickly is definitely a good idea. Um, and indeed it was born home there, so really good guess. I doubt, I think it's probably just someone who knew the vibes because um, it did kind of feel strange, so it doesn't surprise me that he was able to get it, but I would never have thought of it, I'm quite confident. Anyway, next one here is gonna be Thailand. We got like a lot of these rubber trees, which are most common in the south, but findable elsewhere. I think I'll just go straight for that region guess though. Um, Reason being, like we have a lot of palms as well. So the combination with like a very green hill, um, the palms and um, the rubber trees made south quite likely there. If we had have lined up the mountain, we could have got even more points, but ultimately that's close enough for me to be satisfied. Next one here is gonna be Columbia. So we have the yellow plate, we're driving right. Also this kind of very rainy coverage. Hmm. So I kind of thought south or north here. So I, I might just hedge it in the middle. Um, I got more of a south vibe here, so I'm just gonna go for that. Um, but yeah, I could definitely still see like a brand Booker Among just because it feels a bit colder. Um, but we shall see. Um, anything else to say here? I mean, yeah. Okay, what's well, down there? So two good guesses in a row here, bringing it back to even. Um, yeah, indeed we're in the lead. So this has been a good start to the series. No, no, no big mistakes yet, fortunate to say. Uh, next one here is gonna be somewhere in Uruguay. It feels good to be back on Jules, I gotta say. And, and the map is so much better now. It is, it is, it is, it is fun. Okay, we got Wavy Cam here. It's very sunny. I was watching Eddie stream the other day. He was saying how sunny coverage is normally southwest. So I might just try that here. Should be fine. And it was northeast there. I mean, yeah, still you can find sunny coverage everywhere. To be fair, the uh, soil was red. So I probably, that was a bit of a mindless plonk. Probably should go there. And also that camera glitch, maybe I can remember for next time. Okay. This one here, quite a few hills, quite dry. Um, it's this road angle here. So I, I did wonder about if it's just the one going to Uppington, but maybe, I mean, the road angle's pretty nice. It is pretty nice there. Maybe we're like west side there of um of Uppington. I could see that. I mean, South Africa's so well signed that I might just go for the guess here. Could also just be anything. I mean, my second guess would just be going somewhere around here. So could be a lot of damage here, but it was on the road. Yeah, the road angle was just too nice there. Um, so decent to guess by our opponent there, but gonna be a good amount of damage. So. Let's just see what happens on 2.5 times damage here. Looks like New Zealand, maybe South Island, maybe North. Um, very interesting hills here. Hmm, it kind of feels more South Island, I think. Yellow signpost there. Hmm. This is a difficult one. New Zealand's never been my strongest suit. I can't tell if, I think it is the Southern Alps here. Um, road quality is also decent. I, I think it's interesting here. I think you could maybe go like in the uh, Christchurch Hills. It kind of looks like this area here. I might just hedge it there, but I could also see Southern Hills. I think I might hedge. I'm actually gonna hedge here. I think Southern Hills and Northern Hills in the South Island are both good. It was North Island there. Interesting, so that's gonna be huge damage, obviously. Uh, 2.7K there. We're still well within it, within our chances there, but 
The, the mountains just seem quite big. I don't know. It was, it was always hard. I, I got both by hand. Uh, this one here is going to be Poland, I think, based on the... Hold up. What plate do we have there? Standard plate. Um, okay, it's actually, I guess, Lithuania, right? Um, yeah, everything's... Okay, that feels... Wait, or is it... Could it ever be Romania? No? Why am I missing this? It's, it's, it's just Soviet Poles, so it has to be... And we got an A-frame pole as well. It has to be just lith, right? Oh, and then we have the crossing sign, which is lith. Okay, good. Um, don't really get a strong vibe here. I'm just going to click middle of the country. And it was middle of the country. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, still sometimes in Europe, if you don't have an obvious meta, sometimes it, you still, and you read a language, and you're like, oh, what is that? I don't know, a lot of the uh, words ending in you, kind of similar to, like, Romanian last names or something. Okay, this is, uh, with the dashes on the outside of the road, just Slovenia. So I'm hoping that, ooh, I mean, it could be Austria. The Poles kind of looked Austrian here, huh? But the dashes on the outside should be Slovenian, so maybe this is Austria. I don't know. Um, okay, it's just right on the border. What was it, those Poles? They look German or Austrian. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, 84 points of damage there. Definitely a solid opponent here. I have to say, well played to him. Um, no, no complaints about that. Very, very solid indeed. This one's Turkey. Okay, no, it's actually... <laughs> it's actually going to be somewhere in um, Ukraine. So I'd assume pretty southern here, given the fact that it feels... So much like a turkey. I, I would say it kind of feels like this out this direction. We're going north south, so let's try one of these highways. No point in not going for something interesting here. Maybe with the rolling landscape around here it could work as well. Um, but I think it's southern, so hopefully he just doesn't know or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Hopefully, hopefully that sign here is not too useful. Okay, it was there. Damn. Uh, quadruple damage, that should be enough, I imagine, yeah. Um, so, honestly, we played pretty well. If the if the multis were around the other way, we would have won that duel, but that's okay. GG is to our opponent. Um, and let's head straight back through here. I wouldn't mind playing the same person, but it's going to be a Czech friend with a very similar avatar to mine. There you go. So, wave back here, and let's get it. So, first round here going to be Italy. Rock walls is interesting. I think it's Sardinia. It could it ever be another country? Um, looks like it... It could be. Um, is that Italian? I think so. So a lot of rock walls. South. It has to be south. Um, I actually think Sicily is the best here. I do. It is very flat for Sicily. No, it is too flat for Sicily, actually. I would go Sardinia in hindsight. Um, but it could be around Bari as well. This is too flat. This is... Uh, oh, I guess there's like one place this could be. Maybe out here. That would be pretty lucky for us. I don't think it's there. Holy shiza, that is a really bad guess. I just thought I saw Italian. I guess sometimes they look similar, but whatever. Um, I mean, with the amount of rock walls, it did look weird for Italy. That's just a bad guess, but what can you do? Better to put it behind us. Happy that it happened on the first round there. This is uh, winter and snowy coverage. I think it's in S Finland, which would put us there. Looks like a Finnish uh, street sign here, yeah. So when you see this winter coverage with the snow in Finland, should be around where I clicked. There are other places, but it's easily most likely to be there, so hopefully we get back some points here. And, I mean, he'll definitely get that it's Finland, but we'll see if he can region guess it, um, like we have here. And yeah, it was around there. Just a southern hedge from our opponent here, so that's okay. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like, even still, I've been grinding a little bit recently, still a tad out of practice. So I think, like, once, we've, once we're back in the role here, I'll be playing a lot of Geo, and we'll be improving our scores dramatically. Okay, this, I think, feels North Island. My first vibe was South. But, um, overall vibes, I think, lean north. Now, we do have, like, a holy pole here, which, hmm, could this be max south? Yes. I don't, I just don't have a strong enough vibe here. I think I have to go. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very mixed one here. I, I actually no, don't know, like, we don't see any, like, definitively northern or southern kind of, yeah. I'm just gonna go here, guys. I, I, I I'm not, my, my guesses are not improving, um, I just didn't see anything that was, like, just strikingly northern, like, tropical at all. So I can still definitely see, like, max south here. But, yeah, New Zealand? Kind of a weakness for me, to be honest. I don't know what these hills are. Maybe max south hills. We'll see. Okay, what's just up there? Yeah. Mm. Even still after moving around there, I wasn't sure. So it goes to show my New Zealand needs some work. Um, some It's a country I either, like, get really close or have no idea, I feel. <laughs> anyway, next one here is Australia. I think it is probably Queensland here. Yeah, it looks like it. So, are we going to get... Oh, it's actually South Australia. No, kind of just looks like it, that's all. Um, okay, so it should be Queensland here, indeed. Is that a... almost looks like a Western Australian pole. 
No chance that we got white signposts. I'm actually going to be New South Wales with that red sign there. Um, and so it's like really flat. It kind of feels northern. Gl Galandra or something like that here. Okay, it was nearby there. That's a good guess. So, yeah, we've clawed back some points there. A couple of good guesses in a row, putting us pretty much, you know, only a thousand points behind. Not too bad. 1.5 times damage in Turkey here. Might just go Ankara here. Um, hmm. It's kind of interesting. We have, like, a lot of just random buildings like this, so I was thinking of it. I'm um, just looking for any street sign, because sometimes they have these unique ones, but... I think I'll just go for it here. It could be like Kayseri as well, but that often has like, kind of like very uh, snowy coverage, which this kind of reminded me of, but yeah, I don't know. It's some big city in Turkey. They all kind of look quite similar, so I don't really see what I can do here, um, which is fine. I think Western should be more likely to be correct anyway. And it was actually Southern there. Very interesting round. Um, not really sure what I can remember on that round for next time. It didn't really give me a particularly strong vibe, to be fair. We're, we're in the middle of everything. It's, fine. Next one here is double damage in Poland? No, Russia. Interesting. So maybe more western here because I got that vibe. Tall trees here. I'd say this is outskirts of Moscow, honestly. I'm just gonna go for it here, guys. I, I, I don't think it's gonna be a bad guess. Um, just the fact that, like, yeah, we have really tall trees in the background. The houses are fancy. Like, definitely by Russian standards, quite fancy. I could also see south, but I think, yeah, the trees are too tall or, like, too northern feeling. So we'll see. And it was Yekaterinburg. Ooh, even in such a small place. And double damage, that's huge, 2.9k. Gosh, I didn't really... Yes, it was weird that it was Generation 3, but I did not feel bad about that. I guess I felt good about it. Okay, next one here. Is it South Australia? Kind of feels like my home. I would say it is. Honestly, oh, yellow set, yellow pets. Okay, kind of feels like Sydney then, I guess. Um, wasn't really feeling that, but <laughs> it makes sense. I think new, no moving panning or zooming, I would have definitely gone in... Uh, in Adelaide, but I guess if it's so hilly, try Castle Hill. Kind of feels like that area, but yeah. We have to play nicely here. 2.5 times damage, the multis are not that high. We need to really like step it up, that's for sure. And okay, it was at least Sydney. He goes in Canberra. Ooh, interesting. With so many yellow plates going Canberra there. That's a fortunate pickup for us, a thousand points. Still don't really like our chances. We need favorable countries like Australia again. Um, triple damage here. We are in, I would say, hmm. Brazil should be southern with these pines. Yeah, it should be like quite southern here. Hmm. Yeah, this is definitely quite southern. I would maybe go around Puerto Alegre. Now, the hills, we need to line these up. More western, but also northern as well. Let's just go Puerto Alegre, Alegre here. Um, could also like be Florianopolis area. But these trees are really southern. Like these like pine-ish trees, you only get those in the south of Brazil, I think. And yeah, more pines here. So I should be correct here. Should be at least relatively southern. We could knock him out here. It's well possible. Let's see what he goes for. Ah, oh, no, it was Florianopolis area. I was weirded out by the fact that the mountains on the other side were so close. Um, yeah, for, for guessing that area, I guess. But yeah, I mean, what can you do? Um, okay, next one here. Going to be Columbia. Um, again, really qual high quality opponents here. I've really noticed that. Um... Do we get anything here? I don't know if I see anything meta-wise. Nope. Some bigger city. But it also kind of feels very generic. So I think I just go here. Something between Medellin and Bogota. Like this, maybe? That feels fine. Um, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I don't really know when it comes to this. Um, we just have to hope he didn't find any good info at this point because it's super urban. But also Colombia, you're kind of unlikely to find the city name. So which just kind of all comes down to if you got lucky or if there's is, is actually anything or not. And it was actually just further west there. So knockout damage, I think. Yeah, damn, just a better hedge. Um, well, yeah, not too much you can do there. Another minus 18, not ideal start to the series, but you know, still fine. Okay, lower rated opponent here. Surely this one, we can uh, pull a dub. And the first one here, we, ne we no one ever said that no moving was gonna be easy. Obviously I got to this current rating with moving. And the player base has improved drastically, so that's really the reason why it's going like it is. Um, this one is northern, and I'm going east-west here. It is interesting. I, I do consider, like, all the way north, or maybe just Tamale area. I'm not really sure which is better here. Just the fact that we see nothing going on. I might try up here. We'll see. Okay, well, it's just Tamale area. I don't know. Bit of a throw. Bit of a throw. Especially because it goes south. It's, objectively speaking, a worse guess, but closer, so... You know, respect. Respect on his name, whatever. Uh, next one here, South American Antenna. 
Um, we have a Colombian vibe here with, I would say, Colombian poles. Yeah, Colombian signpost there, the white one. So we go pretty far north here, I would imagine. Um, it shouldn't be east of Andes because it's so dry. I guess it's still possible. Um, I guess it's worth checking west. We don't see any mountains. So yeah, it should be somewhere up here in this region here. I've definitely had a bunch of rounds up here that looked similar where it's starting to get dry, but you only get that desert up here. Um, which I just watched a video about, oh, is east of Andes. It kind of looked, the trees kind of looked like it, but I thought it was too dry, um, regardless. Um, this desert, I just watched a very interesting video about why that exists. Um, the funny thing is I don't really remember too much about why, but you know, something about the ocean patterns, you know how it is. Uh, this one we have Lithuanian bollards, just gonna go straight away. This winter coverage with the uh, trees lacking, the trees lacking their leaves is very common in the West. And it is West this time, but you know, I mean, it's not foolproof, so his guess is also fully legitimate. Next one here. Looking like we have some kind of Google car meta here, so let's see what we got. Just generation two. We have a lot of cars without blue strips, so what is this, Frühstück? We have a bit of German here. So it's either somewhere that's, okay, it's yeah, it's just catering to German Germans. This is actually in Greece. Generation two, huh? I don't really know how many of these islands actually have generation two camera. We see land to the south. Mm, just gonna go here, it should be fine. And it was, yeah, I understand the Crete guess there, but the thing was we saw stuff to the south. So you would never really see that in a bay in a Crete. I think the guess doesn't quite make sense, but you know, I do understand the logic. Next one here, gonna be somewhere in Cambodia. Yep, Is, are they square or round? Actually Thailand, I guess. And so, yeah, just kind of feels like a generic Western, Eastern Thailand here with the red soil flatness. I'm just gonna go like that. It looks like Cambodia, but it can be all the way up to the Laos border or even in Vientiane. So yeah, we'll see. Maybe it is Vientiane. I could see that, honestly. Yeah, it is right on the border. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of had that kind of vibe. So yes, we're in the lead this time. It's going nicer. This this opponent's clearly a little weaker than the last two. They, they were both really solid players. And this one's double damage. It's gonna be somewhere in Kyrgyzstan. Now, do we have any metas here? Not that I can see. Okay, over here we have the normal mirror. Very overcast here. We've got big mountains to the north, not much to the south. Um, so I guess my thought with big mountains to the north, not much to the south, overcast was like somewhere up here near Karakol. Um, but I could also see it being maybe Tomok. I think the mountains north are too big, so I'll keep it here, I think. And yeah, we got the 5k there, very nice. Um, honestly, Kyrgyzstan, the guesses are never quite as impressive as they look because there's not that many places where the Google car went. So that's at least nice for us. Quinton is sending the question mark emoji. Well, I assure you, my friend, um, if you if you spent a little bit on Kyrgyzstan, you could also make the same guess um, because I'm no expert on there. B-type antenna here in Russia. Is this Southern mountains? It kind of feels strange, you know? The mountains are... Like, it's a very warm climate here. A lot of these trees feel quite southern, so I guess we have to be all the way down south here. I don't actually see what else is possible, so I guess this kind of thing here, it feels good enough. I might just go for that. I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm just trying to think, is there any anywhere that, am I, am I overseeing something here? I think I think this is right. I'm just struggling to think where else this could possibly be. Um, I don't think it's Urals, just cause, yeah, it is there, great. Okay, is that knockout damage? You go Serbia. 2.5 times damage there, 5.6k, very nice. First win of the series back. We only get nine for it, so <laughs> it's hard going here, but at least, you know, countries like Russia where I have put in some work, they're normally gonna favor us. Obviously in the last duel they didn't, but yeah, what can you do? Next one here, against a low rate of the opponent, basically as low as we can go, so faster guesses and better guesses in order here. Okay, blue car, Romanian way marker. This coverage that's really green is up and up here, so I'm gonna look at the mountains line up. They do well enough here. It seems like actually we have some Eastern elevation here. So could that make sense if we were up here? I think that is maybe some elevation. No, it looks pretty flat. So my idea of here is probably making less sense. Let's just go then around here instead. What was this? There is, okay, it's just, oh, it's these classic river mountains. Like you do get like sometimes significant elevation around rivers and that is exactly what that was, so what can you do? Okay, so this one is looking like Oz, obviously. Black car here. I think it's quite common in New South Wales, right? Just trying to think. This kind of looks like New South Wales or 
or Victoria or something like that. Am I going to make a mistake here? I don't know. I actually didn't work out exactly where I think it is yet. Um, but ultimately, I think just southern New South Wales, I think that actually the border is going to be fine here. So let's just go for that. I don't know where this exactly is. Okay, it was there. Yeah, fine. Our opponent hedges. Good hedge. Um, I guess, yeah, with the black car, should have gone there, but that's okay. Um, next one here. Uh, what are we looking at here? Some, some, something Baltic, I think, maybe with these bollards. Uh, Sweden, indeed. And I would say Southern here. Yeah, yellow field and signs. Making everything feel good for Southern. Let's just go like this. So the German, the German bollards. Probably the most common bollard in Sweden, but they are found south. Someone did some research on that recently, and it is more of a south thing. Maybe we should look for the houses here, but honestly, we don't see many, so it's no big loss. Um, and it was very south there indeed, but yeah, they pretty much go all the way up, I think even past Stockholm, so it's just kind of hedging for that general area. Though the landscape was almost a little rolling there in a way you do see in the Danish border. It's back in Australia, or actually Chile here, Chile. Let's just think in like Concepcion, Temuco area here. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like nothing, so Chilean maybe, mm, let me think here. What do the trees actually look like? They're a bit warmer. But we do have some birches here as well. Maybe Tamuko. It's, it's where a lot of the Gen 4 is. It's still no multis, so honestly just going quickly here is fine anyway. But Chile is another country I should probably put a little bit of practice into before the World Cup because I feel like a lot of people know it well. So yeah, okay, it was Tamuko, yeah. Tamuko has a lot of Gen 4, so it can be a good hedge, but isn't a country that I think a lot of my competitors will have a big advantage over me on, so yeah, definitely worth. Okay, next one here, gonna be Canada, I believe. Now, um, it is interesting here. It's not necessarily Canada just yet. We have no front plates, and this is an American style thing. So let's see what we got here. Sugar Farms, Southern Division, US Highway 27. Um, Sugar Farms should mean Florida, I guess. And in hindsight, even though it kind of looked north with these bushes, I think it should be southern and probably Florida. So the US Highway 57, 27, should we actually look for that? Do we see any hills, firstly? I don't think we see a single hill, so I think we're good. Uh, the 27, there's a 27. We'll, we'll click on the 27, even though it may be a longer road or something. Eh, we'll serve, we'll serve. I mean, where I clicked, I think looks good, because you can see from the map that there's not much tree cover there. Um, the dark green symbolizes trees, and yeah, there's not much going on here. These are artificial hills, so I'm feeling good. We'll see. No, the 27 is a long road, and it does make sense. I probably, if I had have seen it south, um, would have been happier to go there, but ultimately... <laughs> uh, even when I find the road numbers, guys, it doesn't benefit me. Okay, this is like southern kind of pavement, I would say, for New Zealand. Big mountains as well, so let's just get in here. Honestly, the uh, quality of opponents still... Still surprising me. Still, still very, very good. Wish could Cromwell here, somewhere near Queenstown. I met a girl from Dunedin today, which is cool. We we're talking about all the places she's been. She'd been to like Nepal. And... That was cool. That was cool. Okay, that was Glenorchy there. Again, super strong from our opponent here. We are in the lead still for this one, but uh, I'm still disappointed about that Oz guess. We should have got closer. Okay, here we have Sweden again. I think. Yeah. This one's slightly rolling again, so maybe I could go south. Oh, and sister. We have big rocks right lying around there. That doesn't feel very Danish, so... Instead, I think I would just kind of click middle here. Like this, maybe? We'll see. Okay, was up near Stockholm there. Stockholm actually has a bit of rolling landscape as well. Um, maybe with more rocks. So that could be a nice little meta, if we're thinking about things quite detailedly. Okay, next one here is Bangla. Bangladesh. The dash, as they call it. I was just practicing that on my second channel, so you'll see that video tomorrow. Um, we have very like official looking buildings here. Lots of palms as well. I think this is a legitimate middle click. Um, just with the amount of palms, it's more commonly found south. Let's go into like a bigger city around here. Mm. I could even just see, it's like somewhere like near Dakar, but I'm not sure which direction. I think it's middle though. Um, but the fancy buildings, maybe they're like, mm, yeah, it is. Um, I was gonna say, maybe trade posts, because like, I know Chittagong's like the main, tra main trade city, but yeah, whatever. Okay, next one here, three times damage. What are we looking at? Like, quite a few palms here, that's for sure. Um, looks like the Philippines, I would say. Uh, okay, actually, actually some interesting houses here, looking more Indonesian, so... In that case, we appear to have... What color car? No car. We have a mosque. 
Holes in the distance are even looking. It kind of feels like... I might be wrong here, guys, but it kind of feels like West Kalimantan. Now, yeah, we have this... Okay, that's good. Okay, so I don't think this tree is particularly common in... Oh, damn, he gets the 5k. That sucks, bro. What? This guy, I guess, is a second account. Um, 140 games played, 190 jewels. Hasn't been caught for cheating or anything, but presumably that's an ult of someone who knows their Kabu pattern. Oh, well, what can you say? Um, this palm, though, is not common in Sulawesi. It is common in um, Sumatra and Kalimantan. So I was happy with my guess. Honestly, yeah, that is uh, that's a pretty rough one there. Okay, well, just opened up the round and it does say Jumbi here, so that is the region, that's like the province of Indonesia. He literally just zoomed in on the sign and got it, and in my defense, on Indonesia the signs are so rarely useful. I mean, a lot of people say like, why don't you just read signs more often? On Indo, it's not really top priority. Guys, thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. I hope that uh, the series can take an uptick from here, but uh, presumably we'll, you know, meet our proper ranking on No Moving and we'll see what happens from there. Guys, thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.